Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Me, Brody, Michelle, and Roscoe, we just got on the buggy and just riding and looking. What? Oh, Brody has done doubled his pole up. He done hung a limb. He's called him a fish stick. Look at that boy reading that fish stick in. We just rambling around. I'm finna have to help him get that loose. He's finna break his line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just wait. Let me help you, buddy. I, I don't mess with that. <laughs> He's found him a big old... <laughs> one of them. I found him a beer bottle. Let me help him get his stuff loose, and I'll finish telling you what I was telling you. When we got him running all around up here, his mama's about to have a spell because she done said it's snake mating season. <laughs> So anyway, what we do is just riding around, killing time, sightseeing. I've been fooling with my old boat and uh, my War Eagle. I'm trying to make the motor kick up on the back of it. And I basically, I rode down here to see what the water looked like. And I think it is way too low to be even trying to test drive it. Uh, I have never put that War Eagle boat in this swamp because there's so many logs, limbs, and all that kind of stuff that I've always just run that John boat. Well... I was hoping to get my electric start motor and the guy that's working on it, he said, nope, it is shot. So I've got a 25 horse pull crank, but it's just, I wanted electric start. So I'm thinking about running a war eagle down here. So Michelle's having a spell cause he's too close to the bank over there. But he's learning how to throw that pole he got. Yeah, it won't throw. He's got it. So we just ride and sight seeing. We ain't really doing no serious fishing. We just brought our poles because you can't come down here without one. You in a hurry? I Let me see your bait here before you throw it. Cadillac. You must have missed one. All right, reel it up to about right there before you throw it. Uh 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 uh, I said reel it up to you. Before you throw it, you get that bait about right there. There you go. You didn't reel it up like I showed you. There you go. We're going to have to drag it over them rocks. Try another spot. Uh, this is my favorite. Oh, this is your favorite spot. I'm going to go to Vegas. Vegas is up through the back. Down there with
Boy, I thought I had something. Look at that fish stick. <laughs> what you doing? All right, y'all. I have just come over here and hooked a gruntle. Here you go, buddy. Reel it in. Hold him. Old Brody has got him a gruntle on the line now. Oh. Oh, y'all. Oh. Is he going to get him? <laughs> Fight him, boy. Reel it. Look. Just reel it. Reel it. Reel it. Hold that pole up. Reel it. Look at him fight. Whoa, look at this boy done drug his grunnel up on the bank. Look at it. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, son. Hang on. He he swallowed it. You got him, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look. Oh, bro, he's got him a grunnel. Oh, he broke, he broke, he broke the line. He broke it, broke it, broke it. Right there, hang on. All right, all right. We better put those steel claw on him right there. Oh. We gonna cook him? Yeah. All right, we got it. We got those. <laughs> Bring my pole. Quit railing it. He's done real the line all the way up in it now. <laughs> Let's give him to mama. Hang on, you gonna clean him? <laughs> what we gonna do with his grunnel? He got sores on him. We gotta get our bait out of his mouth. And I don't know how we're gonna do that. We ain't got no pliers or nothing. Is they a Oh, Lord. Hey, he went. Hey. Oh, my gosh. He's bleeding. He's bleeding. Why is he bleeding? Carlos got him right there. Yeah. Put your shoes back on. Y'all, all we got to get the hook with you. Is our <laughs> mechanic pliers. I wish you had the real my. <laughs> All right, y'all, what we got is old pliers, you know, that come with <laughs> maintenance kit on your buggy. We didn't come prepared for this. I really wasn't expecting to catch a fish. We're going to put him back. No, we're going to eat him. I really want to eat him. Boy, he's got the lock jaw. Mm. Oh, that looks like a Come bow fin. Come on, now. That looks like a bow fin. It is a bow fin, son. That is a bow fin. Mm -hmm. I see his tongue. That's the bait. Yeah. I can't get it. All right, I got it. I got it. Look at him clamp down on it again. Don't have to stick it. All right, we got our bait back. I don't know where the line went. I mean, the, I don't know if I had any lead on it or not. Well, Brody said, what, what we do with him, Brody? Put him where? Here it is. Well, we gotta go get water for the cooler now. I wanna get the water. Oh, y'all, I put just a little bit of water on there. We'll take that thing home. It's about to get dark, and we'll fillet him, and we'll cook him. Brody said we had to eat him. I ain't had a grunnel in a few, a few days. So I think it'll be a welcome thing. And I know somebody wants to know what I caught him on. Caught him on that little old crawl daddy. On my new Abu Garcia. I hadn't even got to fish with it no whole lot. Oh, so let me put all my stuff up. I got some 
These is actually Tingmu hooks, y'all. I know somebody's proud to hear that. They like me fishing with that Tingmu stuff. It worked good. And I just take them in this. And y'all keep your <laughs> old oh, mechanic pliers, and I can't believe they've come through for us. I didn't think about getting all this stuff. We just kind of rode down here side see you. So we're going to take Brody up to the boat ramp to wash his legs off. He's got mud up to his knees. I get some more water up there. It's too muddy to get any water down there. So Brody, bring your pole and come on. <laughs> come on, buddy. Where's your pole at? You done lost it? Come on. We gotta go clean you up. At the, at the bank? We're gonna go back up there to that boat ramp where it's concrete. When you go on the drop her, like, I'm gonna drop like this. Walk up here and show them what your britches look like. It looks like dirty. Come on, right up in. Now stop, right there. <laughs> Y'all, look at that boy. Look at these foots. <laughs> We're gonna take him up to the boat ramp, mama. Well, have you had a good day now, Brody? Yeah, but we're still going to catch another fish. Oh, we're going to catch another one? How about we just go what we got? Go to the boat ramp and wash my feet off and then go home. Go home and clean him and cook him. Yes. I like that you idea. That Mama's ready to go. This ain't her cup of tea. Do you like your swamp, Mama? I like coming down here, but I don't like fishing. She just wants to ride and look. I can't just ride and look. Boy, you want the ground? We could use one more. Okay. <laughs> you coming, sport? Come on with them dirty legs. Don't mess with that bottle. The easiest slick, probably. Now reach down there and rub them britches legs good and rub that mud off. Whoa, that's far enough. Reach down there with your hands and rub them britches legs good and rub that mud off good. <laughs> rub both hands on the side of that leg before you sit down and be still. I feel sure. He'll be sitting down in it shortly. Oh. Brody, rub your britches legs and stand still. See the side, that mud on the side? Look over there, you see that mud on them? Rub that mud off, rub it down. <laughs> Boy. We're gonna have to put them in that washing machine it's a good thing I got the new pump put on it today. Looked up that thing. I thought he had, I thought he went. All right, don't do that, quit. Get out, get out of it while you still dry. Well, we, we come out unscathed. All right, let's go fillet this grunnel and fry it. Y'all, that is the secret to cooking both in, in case I hadn't said it in this video. Keep them alive till you get home. Don't put it on ice. Don't chill it. Keep them alive in water. That is why I keep a cooler with a milk jug with me. When I get home, we'll fillet them and immediately be ready to cook it. Let's go.
Y'all see the top of my Yeti thermos? I was trying to take the top off and take a sip of it going down the road and run over the top and drop it off. Well, all it did was broke a handle off of it. I ordered me a new one though on Amazon. It'll be here the next week. What'd you buy? The top of that Yeti thermos, the lid, broke a handle off of it. I mean, I run slam over with it. All right, here we go. Roscoe, you ready to ride? All right, y'all. We just got back to the skin and rat. out of this water now we kind of gut hooked this one i'm assuming he is still alive yeah he's still see his fins are still moving and stuff so normally what i do i i i like to dispatch my fish now this is where if you don't like blood and guts turn the channel off um I have come up with an idea. I used to try to st spike them through the top of the head. That works. I think I have been more effective coming under here and cutting these gills out. Oh. So what I do is I cut right there. And then right here, I break that backbone. All right, he's done for. And y'all, I am trying to get used. Somebody has cleaned. I've had to clean up everything over here. Apparently, I'm the only one that uses this that cleans up anything. Everybody else just walks off and leaves their stuff. This is an old timer. It's like the Rapala's. I'm going to be honest with you, I am still a fan of this. And I like it because it is straight. I don't like this curved bit, but. Oh, get these blades back. In. All right. So what I do, let me get y'all in closer where you can see what's going on. All right. Maybe this will work. Maybe I ain't got the camera in my way. <laughs> And from there, then it is a matter of just filleting this thing out, y'all. I mean, it is that simple, okay? So let me back the camera up just a little bit. It's in my way. All right, and then here. Now, I didn't dry my cutting board off good. Let me get this dry somewhat. I do not put water on my fish. And I know somebody's going to go, oh, nasty, nasty. It ain't really nasty. You can only wash the outside of that filet. You can't wash what's on the inside of it. So from right there, I probably need to hit Jonah a lick. It's still sharp, but it takes a pretty sharp knife to do. I really need a a uh, uh, hand fillet knife to do this because you're just trying to cut under them ribs. I like to got my finger. Oh, I did nick it a little bit. Uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I thought I did. That was blood off the fish. <laughs> Scared me though. I was trying to get too much. I see I'm losing a good bit of meat on the backside of that, but it ain't enough to fight over. 
So right there, with that fillet, I take paper towels, I wipe it down good, okay? After that, I split it. All right. How about that right there? So I got an ice cream bucket. So then I'm cutting me up nuggets like this, y'all. This is the far better way to cook this meat. I've, I've seen it done several different ways, and I have tried a couple of them. This is the way to do it, okay? They ain't a lot that I say there's a right way to do, but gruntled they are. Most of the time, I tell you to do things the way you like to do it. Both in, you can't do that way. You got to do it my way. I mean, that's just all there is to it. All right. Let me make sure y'all see. Yeah, y'all good. All right, same thing again. And I hate when that happens. I do not like for the fin to come off on here. What? Y'all hear Brody back here holler. I don't know what he's after. Reason I don't like that makes it hard to do this other part of the fillet right here. The knife don't go down in there. It'll lay up on top of them fins and you'll lose meat all the way down. Now you through with this, throw it in your bucket. All right. Once again, we're going to cut these real bones out. And my knife, y'all, has gotten duller than I like. It'll cut. It ain't, I ain't toting a dull knife now. I, I, don't, don't misconstrue me. But I like my knife razor sharp, but I use my knife constantly. But if I sharpen it now, I have metal shards in my meat. You know what I mean? Let's see. Let's see if we can do it like this. Nope. We got some of it. All right. Wipe it down good. Clean your board from the other side. Flip it over. Another. You go through some paper towels, but this is the better way to do it. I'm just convinced. I'm going to cut it above that this time. Yep, my knife needing a sharpening. Needing a sharpening. Cut that a little bit of white off. We done lost enough, ain't no need to worry about it now. I haven't done a cleaning both in in a while. This, we do one. A lot of people are confused about how many bones is in them. A lot of people say, oh, it's bony meat. They ain't a bone nowhere and nothing I'm cutting up, y'all. Not any bones. It's not bony. They ain't got no more bones than any other fish. So I don't know what they, where that come about. I guess they cooking a different species or something than we got. I don't know. Now I'm 
Done. That's it. So we got an ice cream bucket with meat in it. We're going to wash up this stuff, and uh, then we fixing to go throw it in hot grease. We're going to be ready to cook when we get there. Got a drain in the floor. Now, if you want to get to our pig, get to our pigs right there. Let's cut that out right quick before we throw it away. You gotta go right under here like this. I mean, just that easy. Oh. So now we gotta get to our pick. All right, y'all forgive that old air conditioner running right now. I'll back y'all up, talk to you, man. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm putting in here. This is yellow cornmeal. We don't need a lot tonight because we ain't cooking a whole lot of fish. We're just gonna do one cooking. I put my cornmeal, I take my salt, and you salt it to your taste. I don't want to over salt it. And then Brother Tony Satchery. Y'all know, y'all know Brother Tony. I like I like to taste my fish. And a lot of them boys will salt to add or season actual meat before they put in there. You can do that. You get more spice. My reason for not doing that is <coughs> strong right there like that. Yep. It's broke. <coughs> oh. Man, that stone is bad. So anyway, what I do then is you you mix it up good, him. Now, I done went in there and washed my hands and all that. I, I don't put all that on camera. Just know I be doing it. Ah. So we got our grease is getting warmed up right now. Probably need to turn it up. Let it be getting warmed up. So we got our nuggets in our ice cream bucket. We're going to just dump them right off on there like that. Put the lid on the shake and bake. And shake and bake. Shake, shake, shake. 
Now, I'm telling y'all, it's the end of time. And the Pearl River down there is a going dry. Interest is up. Stock market's down. And you only get robbed if you go down there to town. But now I live back here in the edge of the woods. Wife, my youngins, dogs, and me. Now I got a bunch of guns, shotguns, rifles, and such. And a four wheel drive truck and boat. And I can survive. All right, we're gonna set this over here. Oh. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my stuff back in the refrigerator over him. I gotta take brother Tony back to the house there. So I wanna show y'all. When I get through mealing, it looks like this. So as soon as we get to about a little over 275. I want to cook at 275. So I want this thermometer over 275 because when I drop it in there, it's going to cool it down. And you don't want to drop it back down below 250. It'll cook slow. It'll be soggy. You want it crispy. I see one old boy. He's cooking up there around 350. I don't quite cook that hot. If you want to cook it that hot, cook it fast and hard, uh, you suit yourself. You know, on that deal there, you do like you want to do, you know. Let this get up to temp, and we fixing to cook and eat both in. We call them grunnel hen. Now these fish have a multitude of names. I heard some new ones here not long ago. I can't even remember now what they are. Cypress bass, scaly cat. I mean all different kind of stuff. Uh, mudfish, dogfish. Uh, shoe pick, of course, down South Louisiana. They got all different kind of names. Uh, I think some of them call them mud trout something. I mean, they, they was a pile of names I've heard. And everybody's right because I, it ain't like, well, that's wrong. No, these fish have a different name for every area they're in. That's what was passed down. I'm not going to call anybody wrong. You know, if that's what Grandpa told you, that's what they were, that's what they are to you. Nothing wrong with that. They grantle here. But it is technically a both end. We're going to title this video, Brody's Bowfin, Catch and Cook. Oh. It should be finger licking good. Come on. Y'all, I like your shirt. Y'all like this mossy oak shirt I got? I didn't buy, I think it was about $16, but it's that old thin stuff. Boy, it's wicked, man. And it's hot weather. It was cool riding on that buggy. And this is a good looking shirt. Be, be a good dove hunt shirt. Don't expect I'll get to go dove hunt. We ain't got nowhere to dove hunt around here. Yes. Now I got it holding about where I want it. Yeah, buddy. Oh, we fixing to eat good now, boys. Finger licking, slap your mama good. Tell your mama our biscuits ain't no good kind of cooking, you know. Just get all of them. Better put our feet all off in it, you know. Y'all ever heard that? You know, man, this is good. Somebody done put their foot in it, you know. I bet y'all ain't never heard none of that. Well, it's on like a tomato bone now. <laughs> I went and got my, look at that pottery dish. Look at that. I don't make pottery no more, I make knives now. Turn that over to Marie Laveau. Y'all, we got more action going on around here than a bone with a party line, come on. Y'all remember them old phones, had them party lines? I remember we used to go to Mama's house. 
run over that phone and ring and us young ones we never knew that it was supposed to ring a certain number of rings for us you know this one house it'd be hooked to about three four houses one house would get one ring it'd go ring and then the next house would go ring ring you know it well, a bit wrong, us young'uns grabbed it up. We didn't hear old, you know, neighbor down the road, oh, what y'all doing, you know? How's your mama am? <laughs> well, I just called to tell you how I saw Sarah over at Bobby's house while Jeff was gone. Oh, Lord, it was on then. <laughs> Well, Mabel, did you get your binoculars out and make sure it was him? <laughs> yeah, I, I knew a fellow that he sat there by a big picture window after he retired with a pair of binoculars so he'd keep up what the neighbors is doing. <laughs> One fellow over here, he's the nosiest fellow in the world. He. He'd get up for daylight just to see which chicken would fly off a roost. He liked to tell that. He knew more about what was going on in the community than anybody around him. Something happened. You just called him. Hey, what happened last night over there? Oh, you won't believe it. And I know somebody's going to want to know right here, how long do you cook that? I couldn't tell you. I watch it till I don't never time it. I just kind of watch it till it all starts floating good. It ain't quite there yet. Uh, now, I imagine the grease is cooling off. I had to turn it down because I let it get up a little higher than I wanted it. So I, turned, I probably turned it down too much. I hadn't mastered this cooker yet. I didn't say I didn't like it. I said I hadn't mastered it. I need to change these regulators out and go to a, a, some needle valves, most expensive regulators. Just ain't. I won't do that. I had other stuff that needed attention. Needed, needed funds, you know. Long more thirsty this time of year. Drinks a lot need to send it to an AA meeting, I'm telling you. I got you with that, didn't I? Y'all see what I did there? We think should get this out. Mm. Let that old grease drip, drip, drip. Shell's got soup or something in there. I told Brody, I said, well, let's just put the grunnel off in the soup. He said, nope, not gonna have that. Ain't happening. <laughs> he didn't want his grunnel off in no, in no soup. He said, it tastes like well, like, I'll say what he said. <laughs> ah. I'm trying not to reach over that to cut this on and off the board. Afraid I'm gonna get scalded. That spider's right up there is what I was filming y'all a while ago. He's a hanging on. Can't see him much. I thought y'all would appreciate that. <laughs> Had to play a little joke on y'all there, come on. Ah, I had a tomato laying out here and a couple of peppers. It's time to eat them. We need to sample, sample though. Quality control, somebody said. It's about too hot to eat what the problem is, but it's good. Let's go in and eat. You want some? Hey, we ain't asked a blessing. Get you some 
cat soup. Cat soup. <laughs> and I like a little ketchup, I mean a little hot sauce on my ketchup. All right, we got to let, let me do something right here. We're going we're gonna to read it off right here. This is our blessings. Right Help us to remember how it goes. All right, you ready? Thank you, Lord, for the woods and the creek. Thank you, Lord, for the woods and the creek. Thank you, Lord, for the food we eat. Thank you, Lord, for the food we eat. Thank you, Lord, for the fish that swim. Thank you for the fish that swim. Thank you, Lord, for all of them. Thank you, Lord, for all of them. Thank you, Lord, for the plants that grow. Thank you, Lord, for the plants that grow. Thank you, Lord, for the white tailed doe. Thank you, Lord, for the white tailed doe. Thank you, Lord, for the birds that sing. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Amen. Amen. That is this this blessing right here. Yum, yum. Oh, let me put that back over here. Keep it right here on my table. Is that any good? Mmm, -hmm. Not good eating in it. You know your face is a mite dirty. He don't care. Well, y'all, we're going to enjoy eating the rest of this. Thank you for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. Brody's Granily caught today. Remember, the best way to do things. <laughs> what's the best way to do things? It's the way you like to do We'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a good one.